Now, I want to learn a little bit more about this particular area that they're searching. We've got Carl Wool here. You're, you're an avid hiker, outdoor enthusiast, a blogger as well. And you've hiked this particular stretch before. A couple times. W what's it like? Uh, so it's a, it's a challenging trail. Um, even in the summertime and good conditions on a clear day, um, it's definitely a trail you want to be prepared on. Starting at the Lynn Headwaters uh, parking lot and going in kind of behind into Haynes Valley itself, you kind of emerge in behind, kind of if you imagine, behind Gross Mountain. Yeah. Uh, and then what a lot of people do is they'll, they'll finish the hike at the Gross Mountain and take the, the actual Gross Mountain gondola back down to a second car or have a friend pick them up. But even then, I mean, it's a pretty long hike, It's right? definitely long. So even if you just do that, it's uh, 17 kilometers. Some people will even extend it, go back to their original parking spot or the original starting spot at Lynn Headwaters. If you do that, it's about 30 kilometers. Uh, so not only is it very long, it's particularly uh, uh, strenuous. Uh, it can, it's very steep, a lot of technical terrain. Uh, several creek walk crossings and a very large boulder field as well that you have to navigate. So it's a lot of, you know, impedances in the way you want to be aware of. Yeah, and, and talk to me about some of those those features of the trail. I mean, you know, how 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 treacherous or how dangerous is it? I mean, what could go wrong? Um, so there's there's a few things that can go wrong. One is, like you said, the trail is quite long. So there's opportunities to kind of take the wrong turn and end up on a trail you don't think you're on and end up somewhere completely different than where you think you are. It's not super clear as you're going where the, the trail is necessarily well, at all times. The, the trail is, is well defined and it's marked and there are kind of markings in the trees every so often so you can make sure you're on a trail. Um, but it's, sometimes there's junctions and if you miss the sign or you just kind of miss that there's a junction there, right. you might end up on a different trail. Um, so there's a few different spots like that along this way where you could kind of go the wrong way. And what, what else about, about this particular trail do you think is, is dangerous or things to watch out for? Uh, the boulder field itself, there's about a 1.5 kilometer stretch of this trail where you're climbing up and in, into behind uh, Grouse Mountain to an area called Crown Pass. Um, large boulders, uh, very steep, very strenuous, lots of opportunities to roll an ankle, uh, fall, hurt yourself, things like that. Um, especially if you're talking about this time of year, it's not something I would recommend even doing at all. Uh, just because once that boulder field is covered with snow, uh, there's avalanche opportunities, and this one's extremely difficult to kind of hike your way up out of that.